the coded message into a remote direction to keep your mind in so yes, nigga. What we have here is a recording session in Ableton Live. What we need to do is get the audio files individually exported. That way, Create the Imaginary can mix it in their recording software. First thing you gotta do is access your Ableton recording session, click File, Export Audio slash Video. Under Rendered Track, select Individual Tracks, enter the render start time and render length where you want it to end. What file type, which wave is preferred. The sample rate, select whatever sample rate you prefer. I recommend anything over 44, 100 and above. Bit depth 24 and click export. It's gonna ask you where do you like to save the stems. I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop named Ableton Stems Create, and I'm going to click Save. Now that the stems have been created, I'm going to access my internet browser, and I'm going to go to wetransfer.com for the free file transferring service. As you can see here, we could send up to two gigabytes of files for free. Now we're going to add the stems we just exported. Now we're going to go to desktop, Ableton stems. And as you notice here, um, there's different file types for some reason that are exported. We really need to just get the waves that are here. So I'm just going to hold Apple sign or command and click the stems we need. Open. Enter the create the imaginary email address, which will be contact at create the imaginary.com. And then enter your email address. In this case, mine's Jared at create the imaginary.com. We transfer actually remind we transfer the website actually remembered me, so that's why it's automatically inputted here. You just put in a message so we know who you, who you are. My name is James. We talked about mixing our music. Here are my Ableton stems. Yeah. What if I told you this wasn't the coded message and show a remote direction to keep your mind so guessing?